皆さんこんにちは。Hello and welcome to Working with Japanese Channel. My name is Asuka. I'm an intercultural trainer. In today's video, I'm going to talk about small talk with Japanese. Many Westerners who'd like to get on with the business as soon as possible sometimes get frustrated with Japanese apparent needs for small talk. I have to get all this done, I've got a plane to catch, and how long does this small talk last, etc. And some of them ask themselves, is it really necessary? In this video, I'm going to answer this question. And if indeed necessary for Japanese to have a small talk, when is a good moment to have a small talk? What are the good topics? What are the taboo topics? According to Japanese, there's three taboo topics. One, politics. Two, religion. And three, baseball. Many Japanese feel quite passionate about baseball. And they have their favorite baseball team that they feel very strongly about. But in fact, there are many more taboo topics. So we're gonna talk about that too. And as part of today's super tip, we're gonna look at small talk technique to help you have a good small talk with Japanese. So let's get started. start out by answering this question is small talk really that necessary the answer is yes for two good reasons one it will help you improve relations small talk will help you get to know each other and connect with each other in fact if you manage to click with the other person working together will become a lot easier than you think and secondly As you improve relations, you will definitely improve communication. In fact, it will become a lot easier to approach and discuss, share problems, concerns, ideas, and also ask for help. If you manage to have really, really good small talk and click with the person, your relationship will never ever be the same. That I can assure you. So small talk with Japanese is important. So when is a good time to have a small talk then? During a quick break in between meetings, in between work, is always a good time. You can step out for cigarette break together during the lunch break coffee break you can even have a good small talk even in an elevator or in the toilet or on the corridor in fact small talk is so important some japanese when they go to the toilet and come back to the desk they would take a longer pathway on purpose hoping to run into somebody to have a small talk with so what are the good topics for small talk There are many. First, you can talk about origin. So which part of Japan were you born and raised? Where did you study and what did you study? And two, you can talk about professional experience. So what did you do before joining this company? What are you working on right now? What other project are you involved in? And third, you can of course talk about weekends, holidays, hobbies. And perhaps family, if the other person talks about his or her family. And fourth, you can of course talk about food and drinks. What is your favorite Japanese food? What kind of a Japanese beer is good? Ask about their recommendations for Japanese food and drinks. Japanese are big beer drinkers. You can easily ask them for their recommendation. And fifth, Topic could be their favorite sports football, sumo, rugby, and I might add baseball even. Earlier I mentioned, according to Japanese, there are three taboo topics politics, religion, and baseball. In fact, I would recommend you to talk about baseball. And when I say baseball, There are professional league baseball, there are university baseball, and then there are high school baseball teams. Many Japanese feel quite passionate about baseball. In fact, I am a big fan of high school baseball. I don't care about the professional or university, but high school, I get very passionate. So I'd say baseball is a really good topic. And then, of course, you can talk about Olympic Games, World Cup, etc. 
So all these are good topics for small talk with Japanese. Now let's move on to the taboo topics of small talk with Japanese. Earlier I mentioned politics and religion. Okay, these are taboo. Well, everywhere, right? But there are more taboo topics, I would say, when it comes to small talk with Japanese. Age, you might want to avoid unless the other person is willing to talk about it. In addition to that, I might add money. How much do you make? How much I make? That sort of thing. Not recommended. It's a common sense. And then I might add things like World War One, World War Two, North Korea, territorial disputes with China and with South Korea, etc. You probably don't want to bring that up in small talk. And then there are stereotypes like samurai, which doesn't exist anymore, harakiri, which nobody does anymore, and perhaps manga as well. Many foreigners get interested in Japanese culture thanks to manga, but older generations may not think manga as intellectual and cultured literature. You might want to be careful about this. And then the stereotype like sushi. Do you eat sushi every day? Kind of a stupid question. I mean, sorry for my language, but you don't ask Italians, do you eat pizza every day? Kind of a question, right? The same thing. And also I might add to a list of taboo topics, whale hunting and dolphin killing. Okay, Japanese still hunt whales and Japanese kill a lot of dolphins. All right, we know that Japan is often criticized for doing things like that. So. You don't need to bring that up voluntarily in small talk. And lastly but not least, I might also add royal family on the list of topics to avoid. Many people might feel strongly about their royal family. Even if they don't feel so strongly about their royal family, when non-Japanese talk about Japanese royal family, it becomes a delicate subject. In fact, it is not just limited to Japanese. In fact, I made a fatal mistake in a job interview whereby, for whatever reason, I started talking about Danish royal family and Spanish royal family. And I sort of compared them, even though I did not say anything negative specifically about Spanish royal family. Spanish interview did not appreciate what I said. So, of course, I didn't get the job. You can learn from my experience, do not talk about royal family. Basta. Now it's a time for today's super tip, small talk technique to help you have a good small talk with the Japanese. Step number one, ask open questions rather than closed questions. Example, instead of saying, did you have a good weekend? Ask, what did you do this weekend? Moving to step two, repeat or paraphrase what was said in the answer. Oh, so you went to swimming with your children. Step three, expand on the keywords found in the answer. In this case, there are at least two keywords. One, swimming. Two, children. If you pick swimming to expand, you can ask, where did you go to swim? If you pick the keyword children to expand, which is a very good idea because everybody loves to talk about his or her own children. So you can expand by asking, how many children do you have? How old are they? Moving to step four, connect by talking about yourself on the keywords that you've expanded. If you picked on the keyword swimming to expand, you can go on saying, I used to swim a lot and I was actually looking for a good place to swim. If you have expanded on the keyword children, you could go on and say, I have two boys myself. They are 14 and 11 years old. So when you have an opportunity to have a small talk with the Japanese, use this small talk technique. One, open question. 
Two, repeat or paraphrase the answer that's been provided. And three, expand on the keywords found on the answer provided. Four, connect by talking about yourself on the keywords that you've expanded. If you follow these steps, you should find it easy to have a good small talk with the Japanese. So in today's video, we've talked about the importance of having small talk with Japanese and we looked at good topics for small talk and topics to avoid for small talk. And as part of today's super tip, we looked at small talk technique with four steps. I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I upload a video every week, so please check out other videos as well. If you have any specific video requests or topics that you'd like to see, please feel free to comment below. I run seminars for Japanese as well as non-Japanese business people working with Japanese. Please contact me if you'd like to find out more. Thanks for watching. Until next time, sayonara!